Hello po, magandang gabi po. Again, uh, this is uh, Pastor Eddie Santeno here in Jacksonville, Florida. Greeting you a happy Friday evening or a happy Saturday morning, uh, depending where you are in the world. So, salamat po again uh, for uh, tuning in. Uh, this is our last uh, lesson for uh, our uh, Friday night live streaming uh, Tagalog English Bible Study. Ano po, uh, Natutuwa po ako dahil uh, magkakasama po tayo for about 2 years. Ano po? Uh, sinimulan ko po ito noong March 20, 2020 noong pong kainitan ng uh, COVID. Ano pong pandemic na maraming mga churches ay sarado, walang nagmi-meet sa sa mga bahay-bahay dahil po doon sa may social distancing at sa kayo umpong uh, pinagbawal po ng maraming mga Uh, pamahalaan sa iba't ibang dako ng daigdig including dyan sa kinalalagyan nyo kaya po uh, na, na ano, naisipan ko po at uh, sa, sa tulong ng Panginoon na uh, we were able to do uh, Friday night Bible study online ano po, because of that pandemic so but now the pandemic thank God the pandemic has going down the COVID cases has going down in almost uh Uh, every uh, city in the world and that's a good thing God is God is so good so I'm spending my time uh, uh, here in Jacksonville to do our uh, we're gonna resume our Friday night uh, home Bible studies that will be in person that's something that we've been doing for many years and uh, that is the one that I will be uh, doing in the Fridays coming especially in the month of April But again po, I want to thank all of you for uh, actively supporting uh, every week, every Friday night, uh, our Bible study for the past two years. Ano po? And I was, I was, uh, I was blessed to know that I've, uh, I've taught about a hundred lessons from March 20, 2020 until our lesson tonight. So again, a uh, good evening, guys. Good morning to all of you in many parts of the world. Uh, thank you again for joining. This is Pastor Eddie Centeno and we will be continuing on our series yung pong questions God asked. Yung pong mga tinatanong ng Diyos o yung mga tanong ng Diyos na tinatanong niya. And our uh, lesson for tonight I titled Who do you say I am? And this is Jesus Christ asking Who do you say I am? Para sa inyo Sino ako? Ano po? The first lesson uh, that uh, we studied few Fridays back ay yung pong, uh, Where are you? Yung pong God is asking Adam and Eve after they sinned found in Genesis chapter 3. And then, uh, uh, last Friday, yung pong What is your life that we found in James chapter 4? But prior to that, uh, I, I did a lesson on what will it profit a man? Another question, what, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? Ano po, you will, she will find also in Matthew 16. And tonight, we, we will go to Matthew 16. So tonight, uh, the question that we're gonna study is, who do you say I am? Ano po, uh, Jesus Christ is asking a personal question to his disciples few days before his crucifixion ano po and the same personal question that he is asking you and me uh, who do you say I am because the answer to that question will determine what kind of Christianity you have or what kind of life you are living for God and it is also the answer to that question <coughs> who do you say I am para sa inyo sino ako yung pong sagot ninyo doon ay yung po yung pinakamahalagang uh, maisasagot ninyo sa tanong ng Panginoon uh, para sa inyo sino ako ano po so let's go po to some to Matthew chapter 16 ano po yung pong tanong na yun uh, you will find in Mark uh, chapter 8 at saka Luke chapter 9 ano po but then ah uh, We, I will go to Mark later on kasi po doon sa Matthew, yung record po ni Matthew chapter 16, 13 to 19, ay meron po siyang idinagdag na additional detail which, <coughs> excuse me po, which Mark and Luke did not include 
in their gospel. So, sige po, let us go. Uh, I will read in English and then we will pray. Matthew 16, 13 to 19 and I will be reading doon po sa today's living Bible translation. Ito po sabi doon sa verse 13. When Jesus came to Caesarea Philippi, He asked His disciples, Who are the people saying, I am? Well, they replied, the disciples, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, some Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Verse 15, Then Jesus asked them, <coughs> Who do you think I am? Simon Peter, this is Peter, no, he is always the first one to answer. Simon Peter answered, The Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Yung pong Christ, yung po yung Greek word na ang ibig sabihin ay Christos, na ang ibig sabihin ay anointed. No? Yung pinahiran ng Diyos. Ano po? Yung pong Messiah, yung po yung Hebrew equivalent ng Christ. So magkapareho lang po yun. Yung Christ ay Greek, yung Messiah ay Hebrew, na ang ibig pong sabihin sa Tagalog ay pinahiran ng Diyos. The anointed one. And then for us to understand what is an anointed one, if you're gonna go back to the Old Testament, God tells Moses to anoint or Aaron, yung kapatid ni Moses, to anoint the priest. Ano po? Pinapahiram po sila o nila, binubusan po sila ng langis sa ulo as part of the anointing. Yung pong mga priest, yung pong mga saserdote. And then yung pong mga hari nila, si King Saul, King David, si Solomon, uh, they are also being anointed as king. And then meron po din po yung pong mga prophets they are also called the anointed of God. Ano po sila po yung anoint, uh, uh, pinapahiran ng Panginoon. Ang ibig sabihin, nasa kanila po yung approval of God. But then, all Israel, uh, they are waiting to the actual anointed of God, the Messiah who will come to be the Savior. Ano po, more than the priests, more than the kings, and more than the prophets, ano po, although the Jesus Christ uh, uh, perform all those offices as a priest, as a king, and as a as a prophet, siya po yung talagang anointed one, the Messiah, the Christ, that God promised that He will send to save not only the Jewish people, but also the entire world. Ano po? So, yun po yung sabi ni Peter. Simon Peter answered in verse 16, You are the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Sa so, verse 17, Sabi po ng Panginoon, God has blessed you, Simon, son of Jonah. Ano po yung pangalan ng tatay ni Peter ay si Jonas. Ano po? Sabi nga nun, Jesus said, For my Father in heaven has personally revealed this to you. Ang, ang aking mismong ama ang naghayag nito sa iyo. Sabi niya, This is not from any human source. Hindi, hindi mo ito nalaman at hindi mo ito sinabi sapagkat ito'y galing sa, sa, sa tao o may, mayroon kang naringgan na pag sinabi ng tao kung this, this revelation that I am the Christ the Messiah, the Son of the Living God this revelation comes from the Father above through the Holy Spirit revealing it to the mind and spirit of Peter ano po? kaya sabi ng, sabi ng Panginoon in some translation Blessed are you Peter, Simon Barjona for flesh and blood ang ibig sabi ng flesh and blood, tao or human, did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And that is true po. We can only know God if He wills to reveal it to us in our time through the Word of God, through His Holy Spirit, and through the will of God, we will, uh, we will, know, we will, uh, we will know God of who He really is. Ano po? So, uh, Verse 18, sabi po niya ganun ni Jesus Christ, and, and this is a very controversial verse, but then it is also explained in the Bible. Sabi po sa verse 18, You are Peter. Ano po, ang ibig sabihin ng Peter ay stone. Ano po, bato, hindi po yung malaking boulder or rock. Kundi sabi niya, you are Peter, a stone, and upon this rock, I will build my church, and all the powers of hell shall not prevail against it. Very powerful po yung sinabi ng Panginoon. As soon as Peter answered the question, Who do you think I am? Peter said, You are the Christ, the Messiah, the Son 
of the living God. Ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, you are Peter, a stone. Sabi po niya ganun. And upon this rock, yung pong rock ay hindi si Peter. Now, the Catholic Church believe na si Peter yung rock. Pero hindi po yung, ano po, kasi makikita po niya dun sa may uh, sulat ni Peter, we are we are living stones. Tayo ay maliliit na bato na ginagamit ng Panginoon sa pagbuo ng kanyang gusali o sa buo ng kanyang iglesia. And then, sabi po ganun, upon this rock, yung pong rock na yun ay yung revelation which Peter received from God that Jesus Christ is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. Yun po yun yung rock. Ano po? Upon this rock, I will build my church. Uh, now, if you gonna look again, you can see that Jesus Christ is saying, this is my church. This is not any pastor. This is not any priest. This is not any minister. This is not any organization's church. Jesus Christ is saying, this is my church. Ano po, yung pong sa kanya ito. And the word church, sa Greek po ay ecclesia, it's not even a religious word. Now, the word church, o yung palagi sa Tagalog, yung simbahan, we always people all over the world and many civilizations and many even time past, whenever they hear of the word church, they think it is religious. But the word church is not a religious term. The word church na sinabi ni Jesus Christ dito, I will build my church, The word church means ecclesia. It means the called out ones. Yung mga tinawag ng Panginoon. Ano po? Ang sabi ni Peter, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, called by God out of darkness into His marvelous light. So yung pong church ay mga tao. Hindi po yung building. Ano po? Yung po ay community o samahan ng mga taong tinawag ng Diyos mula sa kanilang pagkakasala, sa kadiliman, patungo doon sa kanyang liwanag. So, I just want to point that out to you na the answer to the question, who do you think I am? Ano po? It's very personal. Ano po? It is a question that nobody can answer it for you and for me and even for Peter and the disciples. It is something that they have to personally answer that question, who do you think I am? Ano po? Uh, so, yung sumagot siya, The Christ, sa verse 16, din sasabi ni Jesus sa 17, It is my Father who has made known this thing to you. Ano po sabi niya? And then verse 18, you can see, the answer to that question, yung pong sagot sa kanyang tanong, yung po yung naging foundation o yung pong pinakapanulukang bato. Yung po yung sabi ng foundation. Doon nakasalalay, doon nakatayo. Yung pong pag, pagsisimula ng simbahan ng Panginoon, yung pong kanyang church. Ano po? yung pong kanyang church. And all the powers of hell shall not prevail against it. So Jesus Christ is saying, there is no power, not, not the power of death, not the power of the enemy, Satan, and anything shall prevail against it. It is a very strong uh, church because it is the church of Jesus Christ. Now, now Peter, yung pong sinabi ni Peter na yon. if you're gonna go to a, sabi niya, This did not come from, sabi ng Panginoon, from any human source. Sabi niya, flesh and blood has not made known or revealed this thing to you that I am the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Uh, it, you did not hear this. You did not come from any human source. It came from God. Look at what Peter said in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 16. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 16. Ito po ang sabi niya. 2 Peter, ano, sorry, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. Sabi niya, this is the one Peter writing in his uh, second letter. Uh, chapter 1, I'm sorry. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. Sabi po niya, For we, talking about him and, and the other apostles, including Paul and the early believers, so sabi po niya, For we did not follow cleverly devised stories, or fairy tales, or legends. Ano po yung pong mga uh, uh, mga palabula, uh, uh, ang tag ito, mga kwento-kwento, sabi po niya gano'n, for we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of His Majesty. Yung pong sabi ni Peter, ano po, sa Tagalog, sabi po niya, ang mga ipinangaral namin sa inyo 
tungkol sa kapangyarihan at pagdating ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ay hindi kwentong gawa-gawa lang. Ano po? Sabi po ganun, nasaksihan namin mismo ang kadakilaan niya. So, sinasabi po ni Peter, uh, we are, what we are telling you are based on factual matters. We are eyewitnesses. We touched him, we ate with him, we slept with him, we were with him for three and a half years. Ang sabi ni Peter, in fact, si Peter ay kasama dun sa Mount of Transfiguration na nakita niya ang Panginoon na nagpalit ng anyo at nakita nila kung tino talaga si Jesus Christ. Ano po? So, very, ano po, uh, very powerful po yung sagot dun sa tanong na, who do you think I am? Ano po, who do you think I am? And it's the same question that nobody can answer it for you but you have to give your answer ano po and the good thing our advantage with the disciples back during the time of the apostles they don't have the new testament yet wala pa po itong bagong tipan wala pa po itong 27 books of the new testament but to us we have now the written record where we can see more and learn more about Jesus Christ kaya nga po ang sabi ni Jesus sa ma John chapter 5 verse 39 you search the scriptures. Saliksikin ninyo ang kasulatan. Habing ganun. For it is he, for this is, uh, 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 searching the scriptures, for in them, you know you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Ano po? You uh, testify of me. So you cannot miss Jesus Christ if you read the Bible from Genesis hanggang doon po sa my revelation. So, Yung pong tanong na yun ay napakalaga and it has become the foundation of the church. Hindi po yung, yung, yung uulitin ko po ulit, the church the church of Jesus Christ. Hindi po yung Mormon church, hindi rin po yung iglesia ni Cristo. Ano po? And I just want to go back to sa verse 16. Ano po? Simon Peter answered, dun po sa tanong sa verse 15, sabi niya, Simon Peter answered, the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Alam po ng mga Jew, every Jew knows Yung term, the son of the living God. Yung po ay hindi nangangulogan na siya ay anak lang ng Diyos, na siya ay less than God, kundi yung pong the son of the living God means that Jesus Christ himself is God. And it is uh, uh, it is something na, na is not easy for them to understand. Kasi po ang mga Jewish people, they believe in Numbers chapter 6 to sa Old Testament, and God tell, told them, uh, Hear, O Israel, he, the Lord thy God, the Lord is one. Ano po? Pero yung sinabi pong the Lord thy God, the Lord is one, yung pong one doon ay hindi po one in quantity but one in unity. Ano po? And you can see, you can go back to the book of Genesis at sabi ng God, let us create man according to our image. Yung pong let us, us, yung pong US ay pronoun na ibig sabihin ay marami, higit sa isa. Hindi po ba? And God is not talking to angels when He said, let us make man according to our image. So, meron pa pong uh, persons doon po sa Godhead. Ano po? And that is the doctrine of Trinity, which the Bible tells us, the word Trinity does not appear in the Bible, but uh, we can see as we read the whole thing, ano po? We can find out that there are three persons in, in the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And if you will remember, I will just side you back, ano po, just during the baptism, ano po, ni, ni, ni John the Baptist sa Jordan, uh, sabi pong ganun, when he baptized Jesus Christ, sabi pong ganun, the Holy Spirit descended upon him. So, nandun si Jesus isa, yung Holy Spirit, nag bumaba sa kanya pangalawa, and then we voice, we heard a voice from heaven. Sino yung nagsasalita sa langit? Hindi pwedeng pang hindi po pwedeng na pwedeng mangyari na si Kristo yung nagsasalita sa taas, si Kristo rin yung para ang uh, Holy Spirit na bababa tapos siya po yung binabaan, no? There are three. Ano po? And it is a mystery and we have to take it by faith, but the Bible has a lot of references about that. I'm just telling you to you, uh, sinasaid ko lang po kasi dahil ang sinabi niya, the son of the living God. Ano po? That pertains that Jesus Christ is God Himself. Ano po? Siya po ay Diyos. Ano po? Kaya nga, unan niyang tanong, Who do the people say I am? Ano po? Ano, ano sabi ng mga tao niya sa paligid, sa palengke, doon sa tabi ng Galilee, doon sa mga kasama niyo sa bahay, o kung kanin niyo pa narinid, Who do you think I am? What is their opinion about me? 
And then they answered Jesus Christ. Some say that you are what? You are John the Baptist. Ano po? Maybe uh, they, they saw Jesus Christ that uh, he was preaching very boldly. And then sinabi nila, some say that you are Elijah. Because they saw a lot of miracles that Jesus Christ is doing and Elijah was like that. If you read the story of Elijah in, pers- uh, in, in the book of Kings, you can see that Elijah is just one of those few prophets who did a lot of miracles. Ano po? And then sabi nila, and some Jeremiah, ano po? maybe they saw that Jeremiah is a very, also is a very powerful preacher and at the same time, the weeping prophet. Siya po yung umiiyak, kaya nga po yung lamentation pa naghoy. Sulat yun ni Jeremiah. So probably there are times that they see Jesus Christ weeping. Like in John chapter 11. And Jesus wept. Ano po? And then not only that, not only that Elijah and Jeremiah, these are, these are very powerful uh, prophets of God. And they are not afraid even to talk to those who are uh, kings. or even those who are rulers at that time. And so they're seeing in them in Jesus. That's why I said, yun ang aming opinion. Baka siya ay si John the Baptist na nag-resurrect, o yung kanyang, uh, uh, yun yung kanyang uh, uh, pangalawang pagbabalik, na, na in that, in the, uh, he is the second uh, uh, appearance of John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. So those are the people's opinion. Ano po, kaya nga kung tatanungin ko po kayo, na kadalasan marami mga kristyano pag tinanong mo, who is Jesus Christ to you? And some of them will say, my pastor told me. My mother told me. My grandma told me. Ma our priest, our minister told me. So, nakukupo niyo niyo. So, those are irrelevant. You should know who Jesus Christ really is. And like I said, we have now the Bible and the Holy Spirit to tell us who Jesus Christ is. We cannot deny who Jesus Christ based on what He told, who He is, when He came to the world. Ano po? And it's so ex- exciting. When He came, Jesus Christ is a very uh, controversial person. He was loved by so many people, and at the same time, He was hated by a lot of people during His time. And not only that, He is what? Rejected by His own family. He rejected by his, by, rejected by his own people. And there are a lot of people who comes to Him for help. But there are a lot of people who also come to Him to hurt Him and to destroy Him. So makikita po niyo yung controversial na, na pagka, yung pong pagka, uh, uh, the person of Jesus Christ. And there is one time, ano po, uh, when He healed the paralytic, ang sabi po niya, do sa mga disciples, ay mga pa, sa, sinabi niya, I forgive your sins. And the, and the Jewish people, they know who is the only one who forgives sins. Hindi po yung mga priest, kundi only God can forgive sins. And they know that. So when Jesus Christ says, I forgive your sins, they know that Jesus Christ is claiming to be God. Ano po? Ang nakapagtatakala, maraming mga tao na binabaloktot nila yon At uh, sinasabi nila na pwede rin sila magpatawad ng kasalanan. No, that in the context, the Jewish people know because they're gonna stone him and they were, they were surprised. Ano po? Kaya ang sabi ng Panginoon, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say to the paralytic, get up and walk. Ang sabi po niya, no? And then, they were amazed about the question. He, again, he was asking them question. Which one is what? Easier to say. Sabi niya, your sins are forgiven or be healed. Gumaling ka. And then Jesus Christ told them, I can do both. Kaya kong magpatawad at kaya ko rin magpagaling. Kaya sabi niya, your sins are forgiven you, you rise up and go home. <laughs> and that is the Jesus that we are seeing in our Bible. He's not a weakling. Hindi po siya mahina. Ano po? And the Jesus that we see in the Gospel, He walked on waters. Sinong tao ang nakalakad sa tubig? Ano po? And not only that, natatandaan po ninyo when they were in the boat and Jesus Christ was sleeping and there is a, this, uh, uh, ang tawag po nila ay, uh, ay uh, gale o yung maliit na tornado na hurricane ano po, na, na, na nangyayari doon sa may Sea of Galilee. Bigla-bigla na lang bumabagi doon at malakas po yung bagi doon kasi po, yung po Sea of Galilee ay nasa gitna ng mga bundok. Kaya pag bumaba yung hangin at yun na yung sama-sama, it can create a gale na parang tawag natin ay hurricane. So ano po natakot sila? Kasi mga fisherman ito, they know that they are in a dangerous situation. 
So, nung ginising nila ang Panginoon, Lord, don't you care that we are dying? So, when Jesus Christ woke up, He says, ah, where is your faith? And then Jesus Christ, what did Jesus Christ says? He talked to the wind and to the wave. And Jesus Christ says, Hush! Sabi po niya ganun, ah, be quiet or calm down, ang sabi niya dun sa wind at saka dun sa alon. At ang sabi pong ganun, and, and there was what? And there was a great calm at tumahimik yung malakas na bagyo, pati yung alon at namangha yung kanya mga disciples. Ang sabi po ng mga disciples, the disciples were amazed and asked, sino, sila ngayon na nagtatanong, what kind of man is this? Ano po, tingnan po yung sabi nila, no? I wish some of the people who say that Jesus Christ is only a human being, you go to this, you go to this text, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey Him. Sino ang tao lamang na, 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 na pinapakinggan ng bagyo at ng malakas na alon? And they worship Him. Ang sabi pong ganun sa susunod na verse. And they bow down to Him. Kung siya ay tao lamang, why did He not say to the disciples, No, do not worship me. I'm only a human being. No, Jesus Christ did not forbid them. Because Jesus Christ is God Himself. Yun po ang ibig sabihin that you are the Christ, the Messiah, the Son, of the living God. Ano po? Even nature obey Christ. Nung hindi siya nakakita ng bunga doon sa igos, he cannot find, he, he did not find a fruit in that pig tree. Jesus Christ says, you dry up. Kay nurse niya. And then pagbalik ng mga disciples, Lord, look, the tree that you cursed is dead. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is the Jesus that I'm preaching to you. This is the Jesus that the Bible is telling us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yun po yun si Jesus. Not only that, Jesus Christ what? He raised the dead. He raised the dead. And demons obeyed Him. And the demons even knew them. We know you who you are. Hindi po ba nakakalungkot? Yung mga demonyo kilala kung sino talaga ang Panginoon? Pero may mga tao na nagsasabi na, hindi, hindi siya Diyos. He's not God. <laughs> See, mahiya kayo. Yung mga nagsasabi na, mahiya kayo sa mga demonyo na talagang nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Ano po? They know Him. They recognize Him. Have you come to torment us? Have you come to judge us? So they know that He is God and that He is a what? He is the judge of humans, of, of the living and the dead. And He is judge of even uh, the angels. Yung po ang sabi nung ganun. And not only that, si Jesus po, ang sabi po ng ganun, uh, si, no, his teaching, you remember uh, Nicodemus? He was he, he came to him by night. And look at what he, uh, look at, at part of his conversation, sabi po niya, Rabbi, sabi ni Nicodemus kay Jesus, Rabbi, teacher, sabi niya, we know you are a teacher who has come from God. Ang sabi niya, hindi ka peke. Ano po, hindi ka peke. Sabi niya ganun. We know that you are a teacher come from God. For no one could perform the miracles and signs you are doing if God were not with Him. Ano po? And then sabi pa nila, uh, in some part of the gospel, it says, the crowds were surprised and amazed and astonished. Ano po? Sila po ay nagilalas. Ang gilalas. Sila po ay nagtaka. Sabi nga nun, the crowds were astonished at Jesus' teaching because He taught as one who had authority and not as their scribes. So there is authority when Jesus Christ preached. Ano po? There is power that, uh, that comes out of His mouth. Remember, Jesus Christ was there when the world was created. In the, uh, in the beginning, God. And God said, ano po? that's the word of God coming from the mouth of God. And that word is Jesus Christ. Ano po? The Creator. Apo po ganun. And then, another, another thing about God, like I said, a lot of people love Him. There are some who hated Him and there are some who rejected Him. But to them, habi pong ganun, who, uh, who but, but as many as received Him, to them He gave the power to become what? The children of God. So yung pong tanong, yung pong tanong ng Panginoon sa mga disciples niya, a very personal question, who do you think I am? Ano po, who do you think I am? Sino si Jesus Christ? This is something that you cannot just guess. This is not just something, oh, maybe, oh, I think, maybe, no, you have to be sure. Look at that, I will end. 2 Timothy 1.12 
Look at what Paul has said here. 2 Timothy 1.12 And I'm about to finish. And guys, God willing that I have to do this live streaming again in, in the future, I will do it and I will let you know through our Facebook page. Ano po? But then again, I'm telling you and I'm thanking you all that uh, for two years, straight two years, you have been with me in this Friday night Bible study. 2 Timothy 1.12 Look at what Timothy has said. And every true believer should be able to say this without a shadow of a doubt. Ano, walang, walang, uh, walang anino ng pag-aaninlangan, kundi masasabi mong totoo, katulad ng sinabi ni Paul kay Timothy, tignan po yung sabi niya, kasi this will determine how you will remain a faithful, true, authentic believer of Jesus Christ. Remember, the revelation that, disciple, that the disciples, Peter and all the disciples and all the early church, all those disciples that you read in the book of Acts, they were so convinced about the Lord Jesus Christ in His person, that He is God, He is the Savior, and that there, are, there is no one like Him. And Paul, they were all willing to die for the Lord Jesus Christ. That's how their faith is. And Paul, tingnan nyo sabi ni, uh, sa 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. 2 Timothy 1, 12. Sam sabi po niya ni, ni, ni Paul, sabi po niya, he was suffering. He was in prison. Ano po? You know, in their culture back then, in, in the Roman culture, if you are in prison, if you are a prisoner, you lose all your dignity. It is something that you need to be embarrassed. Nakakahiya sa lipunan, sa iyong kababayan, sa iyong pamilya, na ikaw ay nakulong, ikaw ay naging preso. But look at what Paul said. Sabi po niya ganun. Uh, for this reason, sabi niya, no, sa dahil lang ito, Kaya siya nakakulong, sabi niya. For this reason, I also suffer these things. Sabi niya, being in prison and being persecuted. Never delays. Sabi niya ganun, I am not ashamed. Sabi niya, sa kabila nito, hindi ako nahihiya. For I know, sabi niya, for I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that He, Jesus Christ, is able to keep what I have committed to Him until that day. Hindi ako nahihiya kung ano man nangyayari sa akin, sabi ni Paul. Kasi alam ko na lahat ito ay kalooban ng Panginoon. Ang sabi niya gano'n, you see, we, you and I, when we go through trials and persecutions, sometimes we have the tendency to walk away from God or to even blame God. But not those people who really knows Jesus Christ as their personal Savior in a personal way as, as given to them by God. Kaya sabi niya gano'n, I am persuaded. Sabi niya gano'n, Tiyak na tiyak ko at buong buo ang aking kalooban kung sino ang aking pananiniwalaan. At natitiyak ko na hindi niya ako pababayaan. Ang sabi niya, see, we're gonna go through a lot. of hard These are the days of hardships. I wish I can tell you it's not. You see, there is a big war that is happening. The, the prices of all things are going up. And you never know how much, uh, uh, how, how far and how long and how big this war in Ukraine and Russia can be. And then a lot of and then a lot of Christian as just you know I'm I'm just telling you a lot of Christian you need to have Jesus Christ you have to know him as as the disciples says and we know him okay so many Peter I know whom I have believed you and I can can uh, can uh, can uh, rightfully say that without a doubt I know whom Jesus Christ I believe and then the last verse in Philippians 4:13 only the believers, only Christians, only the people who truly know self, and the word know, I know that the word know there, I hindi lang head knowledge, the word know is, is, is there a, a, an intimate relationship uh, uh, that produces knowledge. Yung pong ibig sabihin, no, I know whom I believe. It's not just I heard it, I read it, no. It's not only in my mind, but it's also in my heart and in my spirit, and my action and my attitude and my faith is showing my belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. 4.13, sabi po niya, ni Paul, I can do all things through whom? Through Christ. Hindi po niya sinabing, I can do all things because since a child, I'm a member of a church. No. Hindi po niya, I am a friend to the pastor, to the minister, or to the priest. No. I give a lot of money to the church. Hindi niya sabi, I can do all things because I give a lot of money to the church. I can do all things because I'm the pastor for 60 years. Ano po, I have thousands of members. I have a big building. No, sabi po ni Paul, I can do all things. True? Christ. Who what? 
who strengthens me. So only true believers, only genuine believers who know Jesus Christ as the Lord, the Messiah, the Son of the living God, who can say, I can do all things. Whatever comes, whatever happens, I can say, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, Apo, and with all confidence, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen, guys. Thank you so much. Two years. Two years we've been together. And, and like I said, God willing that I will do this again, I, it's, 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 it will be again a pleasure for me to come online, uh, do this live streaming to help you out in your faith. Again, I will say, we are living in hard times. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If God be for me, you can say it. Who can be against me? Kung ang Diyos ay para sa akin at kakampi ko ang Diyos, sino ang lalaban sa akin o ang magbabagsak sa akin? I pray blessing for you now. I pray blessing for your family. I bless blessing for yourself and blessing for your church and blessing and and and, and help from God whatever you need uh, from Him uh, in this time of your life. So be safe and see you maybe in the near future. I will be praying for you continually. Be praying for us also here in Jacksonville, Florida. Love God, serve God, and be faithful to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. Good night. Amen and amen.